Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at the Cast Iron Connection, where our goal is to educate you on how to collect, restore, and use your cast iron cookware. Today we're going to be cooking scrambled eggs. Have you ever wondered how to cook fluffy scrambled eggs in your cast iron skillet without them sticking? Stay tuned and we'll show you how. The first thing you do with cast iron cookware when you put it on the stove top is you don't turn it on high to start with. Go ahead and turn it on low or medium low to let it heat up because the cast iron will heat from the bottom. It doesn't heat up evenly but it, it holds the heat well and, and puts it out evenly. So what happens is all the heat comes into the bottom and works its way up the sides. Now if you turn it on hot right to start with, the bottom is going to get exceptionally hot first and it's going to want to try to expand a little bit. And the problem is if it tries to expand too quickly, you can warp your skillet. Right now we've got a perfectly flat skillet and we want to keep it perfectly flat. We don't want to damage this skillet and you don't want to damage your skillet. so. Heat them up slow, and then once it gets up where it's, where it's hot and the sides are hot and the handle starts feeling hot, then you can crank it on up to a higher level. But you don't want to do it right away. I'll give it just a couple minutes. You can tell when it's, when it's getting warm. You can feel the edges. Even on low, cast iron will keep drawing in that heat. So when you start feeling the sides getting warm, then you know you're ready to cook. Today we're going to be cooking scrambled eggs and because I've had a recent heart attack and I'm having to watch my uh, cholesterol pretty close so I'm going to use olive oil spray, non-stick spray for my eggs this morning. Okay, now that our pan is sufficiently warmed up and we don't want it hot. We don't want to flash cook our eggs because then our eggs will be all rubbery. So we want to pour our eggs in there. I've got about seven eggs in this particular mixture. You don't want to uh, to put like a dozen eggs in a, eight, in a number eight skillet because it'll just be hard to get them cooked. So I, I don't like to put maybe seven or eight tops when I scramble eggs in a number eight. So we'll let these here. Let these set. Now I know you want to stir them, so we're not going to stir them yet. We're going to let them set. What I like to do is uh, I like to tip it, and when I see a layer already been cooked, then I know it's time to stir them. But we're not just going to keep stirring and stirring. That's what causes you to have eggs to stick because the surface you're you're removing your oil, and even though uh, even though cast iron cookware, if it's seasoned correctly, is considered non-stick, you still need a little bit of oil there, and we want to keep that oil close to the layer of seasoning so the eggs won't stick. So let's tip them. They're not cooked yet. We'll give them a few more seconds. We can raise our heat up to a little closer to medium. Avoid the temptation to stir. Okay. Still not ready. The big secret to cooking fluffy scrambled eggs is low and slow. If you get in a hurry, they're going to be a little bit rubbery. We want them fluffy. Hard to get there. And you don't have to worry about burning eggs if you're cooking it on low to medium or medium. We're going for fluffy. I'm starting to see some light and we're almost ready to 
bulldoze these across. And before we do, what I like to do is go ahead and go ahead and put my seasoning on, which is soft. And pepper to your taste. This person like a lot of pepper. And we're just going to take our spatula and just bulldoze this up. Turn it over, and then don't keep stirring. We're going to wait. We're going to let it cook some more. At this point, we're going to do the same thing again. It just won't take quite as long because our pan is starting to heat up now. It's, it's cooking. Still like to do the tipping method. Okay, we're ready to do it again. At this point, you can go ahead and cut your, your heat off because you're getting plenty of heat for cooking now. Then you can start flipping your eggs. You say, well Steve, it's not all cooked through. The eggs are hot. And once you pour them in a bowl, they'll continue cooking even after you take them out. So take your eggs out of your pan if you don't want them overcooked. And this is going to be an easy cleanup right here. So they're not all stuck to the bottom because we didn't continue to stir most of this is going to wipe straight out but don't set it back on your eye do not set it back on your eye because it'll just keep getting hot put it on another put it in another place let it cool down a little bit before you wash it but here we go these are the eggs beautiful And that's what you want. Just right for an egg sandwich.